Greetings audience, my name is Labcode Gamer, and this is actually my very first video on this channel. Um, as you can see we are playing The Binding of Isaac, and you know I just started this channel to have some fun, play some games. Now um, I want to say two things in advance. First of all, English isn't that great, so don't give me a hard time in the comments please. Second of all, I have played this game before a little, as you can see, I don't know, like 10 hours. I'm not a pro. So cut me some slack on that. Um, yeah, as you can see I have um, a couple of characters already unlocked. And we're just gonna play with um, Samson, because he's my favorite, I don't know. There's something really cool about his... Um... Oh yeah, yeah, and what I totally forgot is uh, we're playing The Binding of Isaac Afterbirth, which is the DLC which recently came out for The Binding of Isaac Rebirth. Um, and re Rebirth is actually um, a, a, re yeah, a recreation, I would say, of the previous game, uh, The Binding of Isaac, from Edmund McMill, which came, I don't know, years ago. Um, I remember in, in grade school, it was like the shit to play The Binding of Isaac, um, the original one. And, yeah. They have pumped out a lot. First they made a DLC, um, Wrath of the Lamp or something, it was called I guess. And yeah, then Rebirth came along and now there's a DLC for Rebirth called Afterbirth. Um, what is there to say about this game? It's pretty fucked up. Um, lots of gore and just disgusting shit, but the art style is really cute and I don't know, there's just something about this game that I really love. And, and I'd like you to take you on the journey with me. So, yeah, just come along and watch me play this game. For any of you who are new to the game, um, it's, it's basically just walking into different rooms. Uh, up on the left corner you can see my health bar. Um, when I when I take damage, um, I usually lose half a heart, and when all my hearts are gone, yeah, I die. And basically, my run, my current playthrough, would be over. Um, yeah, and there are lots of lots. Of, uh, I don't know, like 400 maybe items that you can collect in the game that change your appearance and your stats. These are my stats right here. You can see, like, the sword means damage and stuff. And yeah, I'm just gonna go into the first boss room, which is Ragman. I don't know if I fought this one before. Oh, yeah. He's the one that throws his head. Yep. And it becomes a spider. Disgusting. But I guess that's what the community loves about this game that it's, like, so weird and gross. And it's, it's just. It's just the Binding of Isaac. I don't know, it has its own style. And I took way too much damage on that boss. Shouldn't be that hard. Alright, before we go, uh, this here's the trapdoor, where we go to the next stage. Uh, but before I do that, I should... Well, it's not a must-have, but I, will, I always like to check all the rooms to see if I can get some more items. Nope, just some... oh wait. Right, so I have uh, down on the right bottom right corner I have a card that I can use, it's called the Hanged Man. So it, it allows me to fly for this room. So I can get the coins and now I'm normal again. Also the um, item I just got from the boss made me smaller. I think my uh, tears went up. Uh, tears in this game means like the rate of fire which uh, if you don't have noticed by now we are actually crying the enemies to death um, there are a couple of items that change your fighting style I think there's one where you can wield a sword or uh, I believe there's one item where you can actually piss on the enemies Let's see what we can get. So I just um, ate a pill, which increased my luck. 
pills are not usually um, my strong side. I usually get health downs or bad trips. And yeah, this is a gold room, which means uh, this gold room is on the first. Wait, on the first. How many? Uh, I don't know how to open a menu where it shows me how many um, stages there are before I have to beat mom which is not the final boss but let's just say uh, a bigger of a bigger boss like the halfway boss maybe and as you play the game you unlock more items more stages more bosses um, I believe you can go after you kill mom there are two more stages where you can go to mom's heart and if you do that you can choose to go in the in hell or in heaven and fight some some bosses and enemies there and if you have un if you unlocked it you can go to um, in a chest and then you can fight blue baby or mega satan it's a very complicated game i doubt that i will ever get uh, to mega satan i got to mega satan before when I was playing this uh, for myself, not recording it, but I never managed to actually beat him. He's a really hard enemy. Um, as the name says, I guess Mega Satan. <laughs> and yeah, just just killing some poop. Just just getting some sweet coins out of this piles of poopy. Uh, battery, I can't use the battery, it will, would charge up my space item if I had one, but I don't, so it's useless to me right now. I could try to open the secret room, which I'm gonna do. Yeah, okay, so sometimes there's a secret room hidden in the walls, you can, oh, uh, you can, yeah, just with any kind of explosive open. And I'm just gonna take these hearts and go in here. Okay, there was a fire and two bombs. I guess that's a good, that's a good deal, you know. Spend one bomb to get in, got two back. And they also... Ah, oh, freaking curse of the maze. Go into another room and it ports me back. Did you just see that on the map? Alright, so let's fight the next boss. Actually, I'm gonna open this crate. Uh, it's a trinket goat hoof. It speed up. I, I'm not a big fan of speed ups. It it usually comes to the point where I'm too fast and just run into all kinds of fire and spikes on the ground and kill myself. This really is a small room. The small rooms were introduced with Afterbirth, right? I don't remember seeing them before. Doing pretty good. Well, until now. Lost one and a half heart so far. Squeezy, tears up. Alright. Now we could do a devil deal. Um, I can give him one heart, not actually. Um, a whole heart container will vanish. Uh, not just the heart, I can. The usual hearts I can just refill. But if I do a devil deal, the whole heart container will vanish from my bar, and it's not worth it for this thing. It's just it's 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 um like a baby that follows me, like this pink one, just that it bleeds on the ground. Not that effective, in my opinion. And I think I'm gonna do this next stage, and then I'm gonna cut it for this episode. Torres, speed down rages. What? I couldn't read it. Did I pronounce the name of that item wrong? Probably. Oh, I hate these little maggots. These little maggots. Plural. And I also hate these spiders. We kill one of them two tiny ones come out. Also, I, d I don't get like how the spiders move. Sometimes they move away from you, but sometimes they move at you. I don't... What? 
I just got a rainbow effect. Um, that's awesome. I believe that's because of this horns of this item. Taurus, what is it, what is it called? I don't know. Um, yeah, I on the left uh, you can see my items under the line that says my stuff. Um, yeah, I don't know which one the horns was, but. And how did I trigger that? Did I just kill enough enemies in the room or did I run fast enough in a round? Because I got like the feeling that I got faster and faster by time. Now, yeah, if I just run the whole time, I get faster and faster. That's pretty neat. I mean, just do some running and you can clear the room without taking damage. Ouch. I'm gonna try to do that again. Just doing some circles. Yep, yep, and a trigger. That's pretty useful. Well, I can't get to this one. Because he is on a platform. And what I could do is um, blow up this stone so it would create a bridge over the hole to get to the chest. But I don't, uh, I don't have bombs currently, so that's not gonna happen. Oh, I hate this room. You have to push the fuck the two buttons. This is also a new mechanic that got introduced with the Afterbirth DLC, and I fucking hate it sometimes. Like, ah, oh, can be so frustrating. Um, yeah. This is a really, really pleasant room. Shit like this would terrify me in real life. <laughs> like in this in this cutesy art style, it's it's really it's nothing. But imagine in real life you're going on the streets and there's just a guy without his upper body, and you can see like his spine. Blah. And I got a pretty high fire rate. Was 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 it like that before? Or did I like get the special item? I don't even recall. And the funny rainbow effect triggered again. I like the music that plays when I become a unicorn. So this is a shop. I could uh, use a key to get in, and they're usually um, uh, one fifteen gold. Coin item, which uh, it's like it's like an item that you would get of a gold room, and this would be boomerang. Okay, so this is a space item, which I can use when I press space. I can throw this little boomerang. I think it stuns enemies. Not sure about that. I can try it in the next room, or not? Just uh, fire. Okay, now use the boomerang. Yeah, it does a little bit of damage and stuns the enemy. So that's that's nice, and it's uh, the kind of kind of space item that reloads over a really short time. There are some space items that uh, that need like I don't know. You need to clear like eight rooms until you can use it again. But the boomerang has a pretty f uh, fast recharge rate. Power. Oh yeah. My, my uh, rainbow effect, totally forgot about that. Should have triggered that earlier. This is this is quite overpowered. Alright, so matchbook, evil up. That's great. I think evil up increases my chance of getting a devil deal. Alright, so I'm on... I'm on... Yeah, no. Okay, wait. Uh, I'm gonna stop the episode right here. Uh, was just thinking about going to the next stage, but no. We're gonna do it in the next one. Um, thank you for watching. For watching um it's uh it's been a pleasure and hope to see you in the next one